digital romance TV. Welcome to Digital Romance TV. I'm Joel Moya, founder and creator of the GPSforlove.com. Today I'd like to review the five signs which let you know that you're in the wrong relationship with the wrong guy. So I'm just going to go ahead and give them to you. So the five signs are frustration, sadness, anger, resentment, and depression. And again, you might want to write these down. Frustration, sadness, anger, resentment, and depression. So let me ask you a question. What do you notice about these things? Well, if you look closely, what you'll realize is that there are five negative emotions. So see, the telltale sign that you're in the wrong relationship with the wrong guy is that you're experiencing these negative emotions, and here's the key, on a consistent basis. Because let's realize, let's be honest, there are going to be times in your relationship where you're dating somebody or you're in a long-term relationship or even a marriage where you're frustrated, where you get a little sad, you get a little pissed off, and that's perfectly normal. See, as we go through life, we all see things through our own filters, and we just process things differently. And so it's perfectly understandable. And when you're in a relationship with that someone special, sometimes you agree to disagree. You simply realize that I see it black, you see it white. It doesn't make you wrong or me right. We just see it differently. And that's actually a healthy thing. It's actually what builds communication, what makes a relationship stronger. However, the key is to realize if you're in a relationship, you're in a marriage, you're dating someone where you're consistently experiencing one of these five emotions on a regular basis, it's a sign. It's a sign that your needs aren't being met. See, the reason you experience these negative emotions is because on some level, one or more of your core needs isn't being met. The truth is, if you're going to be in a relationship with someone, you're going to spend your life with that person, there are some things that you absolutely positively need. See, I'm not a big believer in unconditional love. I believe that you can love someone from that place but if you're going to be in a relationship with someone, there's got to be conditions. There are things that you need in order for you to be happy. There's things that you need in order for you to be safe. And so I call these things essential needs. And they're essential because like food, water, and air, you need them to survive. Your relationship will not survive and give you the kind of relationship you're looking for if one or more of your needs aren't being met. So the key is to recognize that you're experiencing these negative emotions. And here's the key again on a consistent basis. Now, it's up to you. If you want to hang out and think that things will magically get better, he'll change or you'll learn to deal with it, that's your right. But let me give you a little warning. I did that for three years. Okay, Things never changed. And I want you to go back and look at those past relationships that didn't work out. The ones in, where in the beginning you were convinced they were going to work out and it never led to that place. And what you're going to notice is if you go back and you really look at things honestly, that you're experiencing one or more of these negative emotions on a consistent basis. And it simply was because your need wasn't being met. So I'm going to give you an assignment. I'd love to hear from you. I want you to actually go back and look at your prior relationships. And I want you to see what emotion, which of these negative emotions you were experiencing on a consistent basis. And then to go a little deeper, I want you to realize why were you experiencing this negative emotion? What was missing for you? What is it that you needed that you weren't getting? Because this will be the clue which will help you to build a better, healthier, and more successful as you go forward. As always, it's an honor and privilege to be with you. We'll see you next time. God bless.